I'm Laurentin Weber. I'm a physicist and I completed my PhD on atmospheric drying at the University of Sheffield in cooperation with the UK Medical. My name is Paul Andreozzi. I got my bachelor in physics at the University of Pisa, Italy, and then got a master in climate sciences at the University of Hamburg. My name is Katerina. I am Greek and I studied physics in Greece and then I did my master's studies in environmental physics in Germany. My name is Luisa. I studied physics at the Goethe University in Frankfurt. And then for my master thesis, I started to work in meteorology with a case study on Arctic mixed phase clouds. And especially I look into the representation of mixed phase clouds in the IFS, which is the model of ECMWF. The project I'm working on is on the exploration of meteorological effects of atmospheric composition in order to improve the operational weather forecasting system. My final subtopic is about the use of altimeters in a coupling data simulation system. And what we are basically trying to do is to advance the exploitations of the altimeter observations. I model regional water cycle and temperatures in urbanized areas, like for the Paris 2024 Olympic Games and agricultural irrigation. The main reason why I applied for this fellowship program was that I was attracted by the opportunity to work at the CMWF as a postgraduate student and actually get involved in a project of operational research. After my master thesis, I was looking for a PhD position and then I thought it's a great opportunity to work with DWD, ECMWF and also CSOC. My greatest passion is actually the process of exploration and knowledge gaining and how people cooperate in groups across the world and people are willing to share the knowledge in order to bring research forward. Water is my greatest passion. I've always been working in water-related research like um, on whale singing in the Indian Ocean and also in the industrial context like on dishwashers. One general highlight of the program is that it offers a lot of insight into a numerical weather prediction center. So you get to know all the aspects that are necessary for running operationally forecasts. I also like very much how the fellowship involves supervisors and tutors from different institutes and areas of study. And the fellowship provides a grant, including financial support for travels during the entire duration of the PhD. What I would recommend to future fellows is to see the Step Up Fellowship as a great chance to broaden their horizons by interacting within such a large scientific international community. Be curious and say yes to working together with inspiring people and to exploring fantastic new research ideas. The fellowship program opens a lot of doors and gives you the opportunity to talk to people. So don't be shy and just ask whatever you want to know.